right, so today, did I write it down here? Pyramid, I'm pretty sure I wrote it down, but I can't, I just can't see it. So we've got a pyramid style today. I feel like we haven't done a pyramid style for a little, little while. So I was like, oh yeah, we should probably do one. All right, hands up for balance and roll through the hip. Oh, did anybody else just hear a crack? <laughs> Joints moving and uh, popping and all that stuff. All right, so heels up, crisscross your butt, or crisscross your butt, crisscross your arms. Oh, I gotta get some coffee into me. So if you can, trying to speed it up just a little bit. And when you feel comfortable, if you feel comfortable, you can move this into a bit of a jog. So drawing the heels right up. Good, hold on, keep going with that. I'm just noticing a battery on the floor. I don't want to trip on that. <laughs> Good, and change this into a gentle, small pendulum swing. If you have a harder time with this one, I want you to tap from side to side, trying to get the body a little bit lower. Good. All right. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer, just a little bit. I know it's not crazy tons, but in and out squat is what we're going to start with our first 10 seconds. So not too bad. Only 10 seconds. If you remember this one, we jump wide and we jump narrow. Wide and narrow. Now your option is to step wide and narrow. Good, stop there, 10 seconds is all we're doing. Right? Mountain climber with a bit of a, of a rhythm here. Take a look, one, two, hold. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Now you can slow this down if you want, and make it a walk instead, but make sure you are holding that third knee in just for a split second. Hold there, stop there. Good, only 20 seconds, right? All right, let's bring back our skate. Now, reaching towards the ground, and a jump across if you can, otherwise, no jump. We are trying to stay low. I'm going to turn to the side and crisscross that leg in behind to challenge your balance. Don't touch the floor, right? Don't touch the floor with the uh, with the leg behind you. Stay it in behind. Yes. Rest. Stop there. Oh. Every time I look, I'm finding more garbage. All right, cross jack. Let's bring those feet in. So stop, or, uh, softening the knees, especially in the wide position. Your option is a tap. Cross your body, just like that. Otherwise, turn the toes out, land with your heels down, and try to cross the legs. Good, you have 10 seconds. Oh yes. Taking some deep breaths and hold there. Little rest. All right, fast feet. In and out, or out and in. I guess I start out and then I go in. So we're gonna move those feet. You're gonna go ahead do whatever you're gonna do with your arms. You can try to keep up with your legs. Maybe they wanna stay still. You can keep your feet in one position, right? I like, I always am privy to this one. I like this one best, just because I feel like I can stay in one spot. Good, you have 15 seconds. If you need to slow down, please do but then try to jump right back in. Whew, 10 seconds. 
seconds. You got this. Come on, go, 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 go. Ladies, three, two, stop. Yes, calves? Yeah? Beautiful. Our full minute. Three step with a skate. Now, as you skate, this time it's a little different. We're upright. When we land, this is like, you know too much about hockey, and I know this doesn't look like it at all, but you are stopping your momentum as you skate. That's kind of what you want to think about. Otherwise, you are going to march or step across, but still, send the leg back. I'm going to turn to the side. And send the leg back. Send the leg back. You got it. When you land, knee soft, chest up, arms, shoulder height. Control those. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Yes. Ten seconds. Let's come back down that mountain. Does it feel like maybe it's just me? We went up pretty fast. Just me. Maybe it was just me. I'm not sure. <laughs> Come on. We've got those feet going. Now, calves and shins, or the outside of your leg here, may be talking to you a bit. If it is, I really want you to try to focus on getting your heels to stay on the ground. That might mean you need to slow this movement down. But if it gets just too intense, that's what I want you to do. Otherwise, you're trying to rev it up, trying to keep fast. 10 seconds, come on. You can do anything for five seconds now. Good, three, two, stop. Rest. I'm not sure if you've noticed, we're only doing 10 seconds rest. <laughs> All right, cross jack. So take those feet out and crisscross. So when we are reducing our rest time, even only by five seconds, it definitely forces us to kind of push out of that comfort zone just a little bit longer, right? Just a little bit more. So this is why I'm saying again, if you need a break, you need to pull back, do it, right? But then just try to come right back as best as you can at the level that you are comfortable with. Good, three seconds. Stop, rest. That's another one where the calves are kind of talking a little bit there, eh? Skate, get low. <clears throat> Get as low as you can. So check out the arms. I'm not touching the floor, but I'm reaching towards. Trying still to keep the chest up. What I'm not doing is rounding through my back and reaching towards the floor that way. Chest is up. You might feel a little bit of a stretch in your hamstring. Rest. All right, remember our mountain climber with that pattern. Yes, let's come down. 20 seconds, let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Little freeze. Try to keep the bump as low as you can and the arms or the shoulders are directly over top of those wrists. Rest, beautiful. Let's go back to our last movement. 10 seconds. Jump out and in, out and in. So it's a squat in both directions. Nice, stop there. We have a bigger rest. <laughs> 60 seconds. So we rev ourselves up. Hopefully you're feeling a lot of muscles, so hopefully you're feeling warm. Hopefully your lungs 
are expanding a little bit faster than when you first got up this morning. Beautiful. All right, less than 30 seconds. We're gonna go through that one more time. Right, one more time. We're gonna finish with something else, <laughs> something special, and we're gonna let you go from there. All right, 10 seconds. We've got this all over again. Quick rise to the top and a slow descent. It's pretty much the same descent though. <laughs> all right, squat in wide squat, narrow squat. Good, remember you can step in if you prefer. Stop there, 10 seconds. Going back to our mountain climber, 20 seconds. Remember, mountain climber with the rhythm. One, two, three. How fast you go is completely up to you. Just a little pause. Now really brace the core as you draw that knee in. One, two, brace. Yes. Stop there. Rest. Let's come all the way up. Back to our skate. We're reaching again towards the floor. I'm going to turn to the side here. Turning to the side. You can kind of see. Hands nowhere close to the ground, right? Woo. I got a hold there. So nowhere close to the ground for me because this is the position that I'm maintaining a nice long back. You may have a little bit more flexion in your legs and your hips and are able to get lower, right? That's completely up to you. Good, rest. Stop there. 10 seconds. Take more time if you need. Gonna, but I'm gonna keep going, obviously. Crisscross your feet. Now soften your knees. Both positions here. Even in the jack position where you're crossing, knees are still bent, right? Excellent. So the head should be coming up and down with this movement, right? Beautiful, you've got 10 seconds. Or we have 10 seconds. Yes. Let's count it down. Three. Two, one, rest. Let's keep moving. 50 seconds, five, zero. Fast, feet, go. This is definitely the one that's gonna get me later. This weekend, I was on my front lawn and I was talking to the dogs through the front window and I went to step onto the driveway. My husband left something, I don't know, a roll of tape or something in the driveway. I stepped on it and I rolled my ankle. So all weekend, my, my calf here along the side have been super sore. So this for me today is pretty brutal, but feels still good. It just feels like some muscle burning. Three. Two, stop there. But what I'm trying to say with this whole thing is not about me. Make sure that you're stretching your calves, specifically today. Three step run. One, two, three. Now, if you cannot get three steps in, I want you to do maybe two or a smaller step, or you can do singles, right? You can be here or here, if you do not have enough space. Take some deep breaths, yes. Even this one here, lots of work for the calves, lots of work for the underside of your foot, right? Sometimes we can feel muscles in our feet that are helping. You're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> So just thinking about that, there's still muscles. We still need to maybe massage them or stretch them out, right? Everything about our body starts from our feet. Rest. 
all starts with the feet. There's something going on down there. We gotta take care of it. Good. Ladies, let's go those calves. In and out. Or stay out. Right? This also works. Or mix them. That's perfectly fine. Take the feet not narrow. Anybody forgot to breathe? <laughs> Come on. We gotta breathe. I keep having a sweat drip down my nose. It won't stop. That's a good thing, right? Detox. Natural detox. None of these potions or, you know, these fads to detox. Natural. Just letting those sweat pour. Yes. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one. Let it go. Guess what? It's the last time you're gonna see those, right? Same with the three steps as well. Cross jack. Let's get into it. So my arms are just doing what feels natural to me. This may not feel natural to you. Maybe you want your arms out. Maybe you want to be moving them with your legs. That's okay, whatever feels good. I want you to fixate and focus on those legs. Good. 10 seconds. Yes. Let's go. No quitting. Let's go. Three, two, rest. Yes. Very nice. Skate. Just our single skate. Let's move. Reach again towards the floor. Now, my other arm, not really doing a whole lot. Just balance. Just balance support, basically. So let's lift it up. If that doesn't feel comfortable, you've got another arm position, that's okay. All right, three seconds. Rest. Lovely. All right. You have two more movements. Mountain climber. Let's go. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Hopefully, back is still nice and long. Shoulders over time, up over top of hands. Rest. Three. Sorry, three, two, one. I thought I heard her stop, but I didn't. I was just giving you an extra break. <laughs> Good. Let's jack. Out and in. Not jack. Squat. Yes. Rest. Stop there. 60 seconds. Now, we have a few more minutes. Just a couple of our finishing movements. We're not gonna be running, jumping, nothing like that. It's all about maintaining a strong core and trying to keep our balance. That's where we're going. Now listen, you guys have 30 seconds still. I want you to stay there and just take a look. This is where we're gonna go into a plane. Now you can tap the foot down if you need. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate arms from one side to the next, just like that. So this is your dynamic star pose. Dynamic star pose. When you're ready, we are here for 60 seconds. So, I want you to take your time. If you need to tap down behind you, you're going to, right? And we're not all gonna look exactly the same. I want you to rotate as much as you can. Woo. And have your eye gaze at one spot on the floor out in front of you. You're definitely gonna feel your base leg. Yes, your calves. This is what I'm talking about, your feet, right? Your feet muscles Woo. are going to 
definitely be talking to you a bit. I actually need a little break here. Just relaxing for a second and then coming right back into it. Small rotation. I want you to stop and switch sides right away. I'm gonna turn and face you guys. So we open as much as we can and then we close and we rotate the body as much as we can. We may only be able to go a small, small way. That's all right. And maybe the challenge for you today <clears throat> is open and lift the leg and then kind of as you twist and look towards the back of the room, you can tap that toe down behind you, right? Because I feel like that's a little bit more of the challenge is that bigger, ro that smaller rotation towards the back of the room. Whew. Hold on. 10 seconds, come on. Can you get one more rotation whatever way you're going? In three, two, one, I couldn't quite get there. That's all right. Next, we're gonna move on. Very similar, lunge and a plane. Now, as you lunge, you're gonna go as low as you feel you can. And we are soaring, sorry, over the air. Now, trying to lift this back leg as much as you can while maintaining the chest lifted and the long back. So your base leg, very, very important to keep it bent. And your arms are really big players here because of balance. Now you notice we're not going fast. Come on, drop down, come up. Three seconds. I want you to switch right away. Right away, come down. Getting into that lunge position. And being able to land basically where you're going to lunge. Good, very, very amazing work here for the core. A lot of core here to keep us balanced and stable. You may feel stretched down the back of your leg here as well, your base leg. Excellent. Taking your time, really balance through. Let's keep going for a few more seconds. 10 seconds to be exact. Come on, come on. Let's count it out. Can you get one more in? Yes. Beautiful. I want you to walk around the room. I want you to walk around the room. I lost my napkins here. I think they're buried in the uh, bedding. <laughs> here we go. Guys, walk around, just take some deep breaths. All right, lace your fingers, round through your upper back, and you can even drop the head. So this is a good example too. You still wanna keep a lot of knee bend here. This is a time where you can roll round your shoulders. Good, holding on to your balance, or take a seat, right down. So I've got my hands out wide for my balance. This helps. You always know, grab something. Trying to sit down to those legs. Maintain a strong foot, right? That protects your knee. And you don't need to be reefing on this knee. I've said this lots of times. You can really get into this movement without adding that pressure. All right, Woo, hold on, <laughs> hold on again. Very nice, beautiful. Taking some nice deep breaths here. This one feels good. I love this one. I do this several times a day. It's easy to do in a chair, obviously, if you're working all day. All right, check this out. You're gonna cross the legs. 
and you're gonna slowly, I'm gonna turn to the side, you're gonna slowly keep both legs straight and you're gonna come forward with that chest. You're going to feel the leg that's crossed in behind you, right? So your front knee can be bent a little bit and we're trying to maintain a flat back. So this is just another way to kind of intensify that hamstring stretch and it also gets into the glute, the hip area. This is a great one. This is one too, if you feel like doing this more but you need more support, hold on to something. And you can really rest and feel the, the stretch down the leg that's behind you. Good. Bend the knees, roll yourself up. Give yourself a little pat on the back. I'm gonna turn off this music. Coming, coming back to you. Brenda, how you feel? Good, nice. good. Mondays are always a struggle to get back into it, but it was good. Right? Just jumping, jumping in with both feet. That's all you can do. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I'm not gonna keep you unless you have any other questions or concerns. Nope, nope. Gotta start my day. Me oh, my too. Day. All right, you have a great day and we will hopefully see you in the morning. Sounds good. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.